This is the all-new Land Rover Defender and it has a lot to live up to. Back in 2016, Land Rover ceased production of the original Defender after almost seven decades. However, just four years later, it has revived the legendary Defender in brand new style. It boasts a brand new platform, all new design and Land Rover's latest technology, so this Defender is undoubtedly the most advanced version of the car that has been built to date. We're going to take a look around the new Defender now to see what it's like and if it is deserving of the legendary name that it has on the bonnet. The new Defender features various styling cues as a nod to the original model that so many of us know and love. It retains the boxy silhouette of the original Defender but with subtle curves for a new modern finish. Familiar features from the original Defender include a side hinged door at the rear with this full size spare wheel of course, rugged wheel arches and alpine light windows built into the roof. We're driving the 5 door 110 model here but Land Rover also offers a 3 door 90 model as well as commercial versions for business use. But what do you think of the styling of the new Defender? Let us know in the comments section of this video. From the outside it is much larger than ever before, especially so in off-road driving mode with the air suspension raised. The Defender feels just as big inside as it looks from the outside. There is what seems like acres of room for five tall adults and all of their luggage in the 1075 litre boot. Fold the rear row of seats and it will take just about anything. Family buyers can also specify a third row of seats with a 5 plus 2 seat option, while there is also a 6 seat option with a folding jump seat in the centre of the front row. The cabin feels rugged and well built throughout, though it is a far cry from the functional and no frills interior in the Defender of old. The new Defender definitely feels more like an, a premium SUV than a workhorse off-roader in this regard. Our test car ticks the options list with a fancy sliding panoramic sunroof, carpet mats and heated front seats which add considerably to the price tag. Up front the Defender has a new digital driver's display and also an excellent touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. Out on the road the Defender is smooth and refined and a far cry from its predecessor in terms of ride quality and comfort on longer drives. Air suspension is standard on the 110 and it's a welcome addition on bumpy Irish back roads. The ride height can be adjusted at the touch of a button inside with a lower setting when on-road handling is needed or an increased clearance for off-road driving. The Defender is a seriously capable off-road machine which is armed to deal with just about any terrain that is thrown at it. While the majority of new Defenders will likely be used on-road, it is nice to know that the Defender can deal with just about anything you throw at it. Some of the standard features that stand out include a 3D surround camera with a 360 degree parking aid. It's definitely needed when you try to park the large and lofty Defender in tight car park spaces. There is also a suite of off-road systems including wade sensing and terrain response, while all-season tyres are included as standard. Land Rover offers the Defender with a choice of four and six cylinder engines and we're driving what is likely to be the most popular choice in Ireland, the 2 litre diesel D240. It offers 240 horsepower and it's quick off the line thanks to a permanent all-wheel drive system and an 8-speed automatic gearbox. Prices for the new Defender start from just over €59,000 for the entry-level 90 model, while the larger 110 starts from over €68,000. There are a few different specifications to choose from, including Defender, S, SE and HSE, along with limited 1st edition and Defender 110X models. This 110 test car that we are driving has a long list of optional extras, which means it has an eye-watering price tag of over €91,000. The new Defender achieves what it sets out to be first and foremost, and that is a fantastic off-road machine with all-terrain capabilities that are beyond what most of us will ever need, and even beyond the original Defender too. Surprisingly, it is a very capable family car too, with one of the best interiors of any premium SUV on the market right now. It's hard not to be impressed by the new Defender in just about every way, although fans of the original model will argue that it has lost some of the charm and the ruggedness that made that car so special. 
Check out Carzone now to read our full written review of the new Land Rover Defender, where you can also browse examples for sale from trusted sellers around Ireland. Thank you.